According to reports, Higuain will no longer be at Napoli next season after opting out of contract negotiations. And so the internet had a field day. Many people talking about how he would be an asset, but far too many sources, and I mean far too many sources, are some for some reason disregarding uh, last season's most efficient scorer in Serie A simply because he misses a few chances. Now, I will make that case. I will talk about Higuain and how he somehow, I would say Jason, does not have the clutch factor in front of goal at many times. But most of the teams, the reason why I'm going to do this clip and why it is titled every Premier League team should be lucky to have Higuain is because most of the teams that are in the running for the Argentinian striker at the age of 28 are Premier League teams. So... As we get into this conversation, Jason, let's put to bed the first argument, right? So how many times have you seen and everyone else talked about, and we've been involved as well, Higuain chokes. He misses golden opportunities. He missed one in the Copa America final, one-on-one. -on -one. He missed one in the World Cup final. The easy argument to put that to bed would be, that's Argentina. That's not where he's, he's not signing for a, another nation. As much as you would love that role to be put in place to sign people for your country. Come to the US. So that's for Argentina. And yes you got to take into account how he plays for his international team as to uh, why you would want to sign him or sign him or, or not. But I think that, again, it's players play different at the international level. Lionel Messi skies a penalty 10, 15 yards over the bar. Yes, you want to look at that as a clear indicator as to the player you're signing, but I would be more inclined to look at his recent form in Serie A. A league that has the lowest goals per game average out of all the major leagues. 2.5 goals per game is what the average is in Syria. 2.83 Bundesliga, 2.7 Premier League, and 2.74 in La Liga. This guy scored 36 goals in 35 games. I think this argument is only sound if you're keeping it to the Premier League. Uh, and I say that because you can go to the Premier League. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly now. Premier? Premier. Premier. Premier, Premier League. Premier League. And I say that because you can score nine goals in the Premier League and bow down! What a goal scorer that is! And I, I say that, and this is no discredit to guys like uh, Sadio Mane. Mane? 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 Mane. Mane. Who, you Signed know, with Liverpool. Signed with Liverpool, and it's a fine signing. But in general, like, 36 goals, if, anybody, if, if he came over and scored 36 goals in the Premier League, you can literally hand him the Premier League Player of the Year award. Yep. If anybody did that. But you see the goal scores in the Premier League, and it's 22, 23. Sometimes seasons where it's 17. And I think, like, there's one team that comes to mind that could use Gonzalo Iguain more than any of the other teams, and it's Arsenal. Yep. Uh, and it's also Manchester United because they're always on the list, but it's Arsenal. Now, if you took Iguain and placed him in La Liga, or you placed him in Bundesliga, I truthfully don't know if he alone, and not a Bayern, I'm saying, for, like, the Bundesliga, but if you put him on, like, a Wolfsburg, I truthfully don't believe that he could finish as much as he did in Serie A. I think there's a little bit of Cavani uh, relation to him. I think that's a fair comparison. I think that's fair in terms of Cavani, how he scores efficiently in, in Liga. In the regular season, not the yeah. regular, but like not late in tournaments. Yeah, in Liga, and by the way, their goals per game is kind of close to Serie A. Unless you're uh, PSG. You're yeah, unless 15. you're PSG, which is miles ahead. But the point is, so I'm, I'm sticking to the Premier League, and I think that is a fair assumption that's to fair. make. Uh, the Premier League, the reason why I say that Higuain, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that any team of the major teams in Premier League who would turn away Higuain are fucking stupid, right? And the reason why, look at every major scorer for all of these big teams in the Premier League. I'm already on my, this train of taking everyone who thinks the Premier League is this almighty league down a few notches after what happened against Iceland. The clip's up on Facebook where I'm ripping apart the fact that people are blinded by the Premier League and think that someone like Higuain, who scores 36 goals in Serie A, one of the most defensive leagues in the world, couldn't do it in the Premier League. I'm not saying he will. It's not a set fact. Andrei Shevchenko came in on, on an unbelievable goal-scoring record in Serie A and couldn't do it at Chelsea. It happens. But it's almost like this calculated risk, which, if you look at it on paper, is more of a, uh, an efficient risk than taking other players that everyone wants to bring to the Premier League. Uh, I think there's an asinine argument to think that Gan Gonzalo Higuain couldn't do it. Sergio Aguero's had a dip in form for Manchester City. Yes, he's a fantastic striker, but Manchester City could do it with Higuain. Manchester United don't have a goal-scoring striker. They're going to gamble on Zlatan Ibrahimovic. They don't have a agent. goal scorer. They don't have a goal scorer. An agent striker who, yes, has done it in Ligue 1 and Serie A. Didn't do it as much in La Liga. I think that's a bigger gamble than Higuain. Arsenal, 
have the French Higuain if you're going to look at that as the reason why you don't sign him. But less efficient in Giroud. Chelsea have Diego Costa who had, as you put it, a good season his first season. Everyone blew it up to be an unbelievable season because they went on and won the league and then fell away by the second year. Every major team in the Premier League has had their faults when it comes to a striker. Jamie Vardy had a great season last year. Harry Kane had a great season last year. You're trying to tell me after just watching Harry Kane and in the Euros that you're so, co you're so confident he's going to go in and do the exact same thing again. I think it's just a ridiculous argument. It's people that don't like the Serie A. It's people that like to rag on Higuain for what he's done for Argentina that think that he couldn't play in the Premier League. He's more of a calculated risk than any striker out there that you're going to bring in who is available. I'm not saying he's a Luis Suarez. I'm not saying he's... Because Luis Suarez isn't available. Neither is Benzema. Neither is those guys. But of the people available, if you're the top five in the Premier League with these new managers... You're an imbecile if you're not considering Gonzalo right. Higuain. I agree. That I, is, but I think it's specific to the Premier League. Premier League. Uh, yeah. Because I think in other leagues, he's not needed. La Liga doesn't need... I mean, well, it depends on... Griezmann staying at Atletico Madrid. They're not... Because they would have been... By the way, Atletico Madrid, there's something so remarkable about their transfer windows. Like, they lose somebody, and like, that night... It's just a... They're like, no, 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 no. We already got it. We got it filled. Like, you can't even, it's like... It's just a rotational door. Someone's yeah. just coming through. But it's, it's, it's remarkable how well they play with so many rotations. I mean, it's, grass it's just funny because you see all these rumors of, like, Chelsea are like, we want Morata. We'll take Morata. Morata is very similar to Higuain. But because he does a nice solo goal against Bayern Munich, everyone's like, ah, oh, shit, let's get Morata. Let's pull the money. And he, this guy didn't do it as much at Real Madrid. Real Madrid didn't see him needed as much so they passed him over to Juventus he didn't start every game yes he's got talent but then they buy him back and now everyone's saying that Chelsea still have a chance to buy him if I'm, if I'm Roman Abramovich or I'm Antonio Conte Conte of all people should be looking at Higuain as a perfect asset he has managed in Serie A he Can't knows how hard it is Manages for teams yeah. to score for, for, for players to score in that league I would bring him in he's got 36 goals in 35 games that's not a fluke not an A League that is very hard to score and not when a record has been standard for 60 plus years and you just go and break it. It's so ridiculous to me that people will just cloud their own vision by watching one-off chances in which he misses. I'm not going to make excuses for the guy. He's got a problem with Argentina. He has got whiskey dick in front of goal when it comes to Argentina. Whiskey leg. Whiskey leg. <laughs> um, but I think that if you're a Premier League team, again, final point, you're an imbecile if you don't look at Gonzalo Higuain. So... Make sure to buy him if you have the opportunity. Jason Rubin, 91, Twitter. Uh, Francis underscore Maxwell. Uh, Sadio Mane signed with Liverpool. Sadio Mane signed with Liverpool. Mkhitaryan signs possibly with Manchester United. Um, <laughs> Wanyama signs with Tottenham. Wanyama signed with Tottenham. That's the rest of our transfer. Celtic transfer. signed. Celtic signed Dembele from Fulham. Oh. Get in there. The Glasgow Celtic. It's not bad. It's not, not a bad, bad signing. signing. It's not a bad signing. It's not the Dembele from Tottenham, by the way, if that's what you're thinking. It's still not a bad signing. <laughs> you got Brendan Rodgers, too. We've got you? Brendan Rodgers. Celtic are on the way up. We'll see you guys in the Champions League, but we'll see you more importantly <laughs> over on Twitter at UIT Sports. At Maybe the Maxwell, 2018 and at Jason Rubin 91.